Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to open raw photos using GIMP as well as free raw processing software either Darktable or Raw Therapy whichever you prefer. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.24 as well as Darktable 3.6 and Raw Therapy 5.8 which are all the latest versions of their respective software at the time of this video. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of video tutorials on here, latest clips from my YouTube channel, as well as free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So GIMP at the time of this video does not allow you to directly open up unprocessed raw images. You have to first process your images in another program and then open them up into GIMP. This is actually how Photoshop works as well. So you have to pretty much process your raw images inside of Camera Raw and then open those up into Photoshop for further photo editing or manipulation. So the first step here is you need to download either Darktable or Raw Therapy or you can download both. So Darktable you can get for free at darktable.org. Raw Therapy you can also get for free at rawtherapy.com. And you'll see both of these programs work on Linux, Windows, or Mac machines. I'll be focusing on Windows for this tutorial. So click this download button here for Raw Therapy or come over here to the install page for Darktable. Scroll down. You'll see here there is a little Windows icon. Click on that. And here you'll see download the latest Windows installer for Darktable. Max right below it. So just click the link here. That's going to download the file. So I've already downloaded this once, but I'm just going to hit save and download it again. So this will download this as a .exe file. So once that has finished downloading, click on the little arrow and go to show in folder. So here you can see the .exe file. All you got to do is double click on this and Windows will run the installation process. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to go through it. Let me just exit out of here. So pretty much the same process applies here to raw therapy. If you have GIMP open like I do right now, go ahead and close GIMP down and then reopen it. So let's just exit out of here and reopen GIMP. All right, so now I have GIMP and a raw processor downloaded. Now I can open up a raw image into GIMP through the raw processor. So I'm gonna demonstrate first using Darktable, but I will show you how to switch to a different raw processor if you have both installed on your computer like I do. So to open a raw image in GIMP, just go to File, Open, and navigate to the folder that contains your raw images. So in this case, I did save the folder here in my places. I do go over how I did that in my 10 time saving tips for GIMP tutorial. So definitely check that out if you want information on that. But right here, I already have the raw image highlighted that I want to open up. You'll see it is a .cr2 file. I also have JPEGs that accompany each one of my raw files. That's just how I have my camera set up. And that allows me to quickly generate previews because not all raw files will have the preview. Some of these already do for me, but this one doesn't, for example. So I can click on the JPEG and that will populate the preview there. But now let's come over here to the .cr2 file and I can either double click it or come over here and click open. And that's gonna open up my image into Darktable. And you'll see here it says closing Darktable will export the image and make GIMP load it. So in this case, I've already made some edits to this photo ahead of time. I'm not going to go through these right now. You can check out my fundamentals of photo editing in Darktable course if you want more information on how to edit your raw photos inside of Darktable. But all I need to do once I've edited this or once I'm ready to open it in GIMP is come over here and exit out of here. And you'll see now GIMP will load it. And here you can see my raw image is loaded into GIMP. One misleading thing is that it's going to name your image, whatever the image name was called, .cr2. So this is actually not a CR2 image. This is going to be a .exr image. I won't totally get into what a .exr file type is because it's super technical and I don't even fully understand it. But basically .exr files, the full name is going to be openexr. It's just a file type that allows you to have lossless compression on an image as well as a high dynamic range of luminance or color values. So the reason I mention that is that you can't export this to a raw file. So if I go to file, 
export as. It will pop up with the file extension .cr2, but if I come over here and hit export, it's not actually gonna export it. It's just gonna say the given file name does not have any known file extension. So I'll click OK. Let me just double click inside of here. I already have this saved once here. And you can see one downside to .exr file types is that the size is gonna be pretty huge. So compare that with the JPEG, it is much larger. But you can save this as a .exr file type if you wanna lose as little data as possible. On the other hand, if you wanna save room, you can export this to a JPEG format. So that will compress this, but it's gonna be much smaller. So I'll come over there, hit export. You can turn up the quality if you want to. And once you're ready, just hit export. And now our image has been exported. So a common question I got on the original tutorial I did on this same subject around three years ago is can I open up multiple raw images with GIMP? The answer to that is yes. So to do that, I'll go to file open once again. So here are all my files. So let's say I wanna open up this photo here. I'll just left click on it, hold the control key, and then I can click on another image I wanna open up and I can do pretty much as many as I want, but in this case, I'll just stop at two. So this will open both of these up. Let me come over here and click open. However, it will open them up one at a time. So here is one of the images. I can make my edits to this. However, I'm not going to, this isn't a great photo. So let me just exit out of here. So that's gonna open that up as a .exr photo inside of GIMP. And now it's gonna open up the second raw image. So here's the second image, this one's a little better, but I can make whatever changes I want to this once again and exit out of here. And that's gonna open up the second .exr image. Let's move on now. So what happens if you have both Darktable and Raw Therapy installed on your computer and you wanna be able to choose which one GIMP uses by default to open up your raw images? Well, it's super easy. What I'll do is go to Edit, Preferences, and we're gonna come over here to image import and export. And over here under raw image importer, if you have both Darktable and raw therapy installed, you'll see three different plugins here. So the first one says file dash Darktable. The second one says file raw placeholders. So that's basically used by default if you don't have anything installed. And the third one says file dash raw therapy. So it's gonna use Darktable by default. I believe it's because just alphabetically this is put ahead of raw therapy by default. However, if you wanna use raw therapy instead, just click on the raw therapy line and come over here and click okay. And now you're gonna to need to close down GIMP and reopen it. And finally, I'll go to file, open. And I'll just navigate here to my folder. So it doesn't really matter which one we open up. So let me just click on this one, double click to open it. So now you'll see it'll open up the raw image. So raw therapy is gonna be a little different. It says, welcome to the raw therapy GIMP plugin. And then it tells you some instructions. Once you're done editing, simply close the main raw therapy window and the image will automatically be imported into GIMP. And if you don't wanna see this message over and over again, just choose the don't show this message again checkbox there. So I'll just click okay. So same thing here, make whatever edits you want to to your image, and once you're ready, come over here and exit out of here. And now GIMP is gonna load this. You'll see that this is actually gonna load your image as a .tiff file instead of an .exr file. TIFFs and .exr files, as far as I know, are pretty similar. Both are just trying to preserve as much data as possible from the raw image as it's being sort of compressed and shifted over to GIMP. And you're also gonna get this message. So this is gonna be the color space that Raw Therapy is sending over, and this is GIMP's native color space. I usually hit convert, but you can hit keep if you wanna keep Raw Therapy's color space. And now here is your image. It's gonna say .cr2 again here, but that is misleading. So when it comes to exporting this, I recommend you go to File, Export As, and let's go to Edited. And we're just gonna save this as .tiff and come over here, hit export, and export again. So if I navigate to that folder, we can check out the two different file types. Let's come over here to edited. So here's the EXR. This one is 193 megabytes. Here is the TIFF file. If I click on that, it's 205 megabytes. So this one's actually a little larger than the EXR file. They're not the same photo though. 
So they are both larger file formats, but they do keep more data. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.